Hey guys, so my name is Rashad. It's my friend Imad, and we are in a 2011 Audi A4. So we're just gonna do a few driving impressions as it is currently stock. Tomorrow is a big day because Imad's getting it tuned. What do you? What kind of tune are you getting? Yeah, I'm getting an APR Stage One ECU tune, uh, which will reprogram my entire ECU chip and add over 60 horsepower and 60 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, currently, the car is bone stock. Um, and stage one is the first edition that I'll be making, um, hopefully of many. So that should be pretty exciting. I know I can't wait to see what the car is like with the tune. It's a pretty tame car at the moment. I think Audi did a very good job of sound dampening, but at the same time, I feel like it takes a little away from having a little fun with the car. You want it to be a little louder. Um, he actually, you had a B7 A4, correct? Yeah, before right this. before this car, I had a 2006 uh, Audi A4 B7. Um, I mean, the two cars are very different. Uh, the A4 B7 was good in its own way, um, much louder than this, uh, and the car was not as smooth as the B8. Yeah, it seems like this one's more comfort focused and comfort oriented, whereas the last one was a little bit more sporty. Uh, that seems to be a trend with a lot of vehicles these days, especially like BMW. Uh, they're going with more comfort-based vehicles, and then you really have to get that M Sport package to get it more, I guess, raw and pure and fun. Yeah, one thing in particular that I like in this car over the B8 is the 8-speed automatic transmission. Um, the transmission is very, very smooth, uh, and compared to the B7, uh, you know, there isn't much jerking around with uh, the gears when switching. So we're taking it to Kantic Automotive tomorrow. It's located in Syracuse, New York. And they're the ones that are going to be doing the tune on the vehicle. So that should be, uh, we'll do a little vlog of going to the shop and maybe a little tour of the shop. And uh, yeah, so hopefully the tune works out great. And this is a new beast by tomorrow. Yeah, hopefully. Thanks, guys. Hey guys, so we're heading out to Kantec Automotive this morning. We just left Ithaca, and we should there be there in about an hour and a half. Yeah. So, pretty excited, and we'll keep you posted. Looking forward to it, definitely. We just stopped at uh, Mickey D's. Got to fill up the stomach, right? Yeah, we filled up the car, now we filled up the stomach. Exactly. <laughs> what do you get? Uh, we both got filet fish. Yeah, filet fish. So that's, that's how you got to go. That's how you got to go. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully it's good. here already it's a little bit ahead and we're at a uh, Kantic automotive excited very excited hopefully the car will sound even more better and louder and a lot more quicker by the time we get this tune done but here is Kantic automotive it's a pretty big facility and you can see they have a ton of vehicles for sale as well. When we were at the Cars and Coffee event, this lot was completely filled. And I don't even, it's, I mean like down there, back there, behind the building, where you see all those cars that were for sale, completely filled. So we're about to go into Kansas Automotive in the back, see what this is all about.
Um, here for the state of the Mayor Tune. Okay, what's the last name? Uh, for Roger. So you're getting a really good You have a couple options with stage one. Um, I see here we're going to do a fully loaded ECU. Yeah. Okay. The email address we're going to use is the. All right. And we'll get you in here shortly. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. So this is the last time that car over there is going to be stuck. So we're in the showroom right now, and there's some pretty cool cars. Let's check them out. First, we have this beautiful R8 V10. Stickering for 139990 for those of you interested. Also check out the carbon fiber. Gotta love that. Look at that V10 power plant. Those sound especially good at high RPM. There's also this beautiful 228i in white and red interior. Let's check that out as well. Away she goes. And what we have here looks familiar, right? You guys come in, tell us uh, what options you're looking for. So we did the fully loaded, uh, usually four program slots. Um, did your uh, valet stock load levels and then uh, 91, 93 option. Okay. Um, the email's been sent to the owner at this time, letting him know it's all done, completely went through okay. And uh, the manual's on its way, so it's awesome how to turn it on there. Awesome. But, uh, yeah, sounds great. Um, just a quick question. Yeah, do you know, uh, I wonder if they have a needle song. It's already, we did it, we already turned it on. Would you like to see it? Oh, that is so nice. Perfect. That's so perfect. Yep. Thank you so much. Yeah, not a problem. Awesome. Awesome. Perfect. You guys ready? Yep. Yeah, no problem. Good luck. We're heading out from Cantic right now. Can't wait to see how this drives. Oh, it definitely pulls harder, dude. Dude, it definitely pulls harder. Oh yeah, definitely. You can feel it, you know? Once that turbo kicks in, By far. <laughs> Happy customer. <laughs> so guys, we just did the APR tune. We're on the way back, and night. And, I night am what do you very, say? Night? night and day. I am very, very impressed by the by the pickup of the car. You know, you can tell the smile on his face. Um, and you know, it's 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 a pretty big difference. It's gonna take some time for me to get used to, but um, I am very I'm very pleased. As he puts on the radar. <laughs> you know what's more pronounced? The the 
the sound in between shifts. You think so? Yeah. So, uh, you know, Sean, how do you feel as a passenger? I mean, as a passenger, I can definitely feel it uh, pulling me back into my seat a little bit more. Actually, a fair amount more than it did before. Nice. Yeah. I guess the real test is when I uh, am the driver and... 